Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hello, everybody. How are you? I'm Alex Bennett, and this is The Ramble. We'll be here until uh, midnight, Eastern Daylight Time. Right now it's 10 o'clock. Well, it's uh, 10.07, uh, almost 10.07 here on the East Coast of the United States of America. And if you're listening to us anywhere in the world, just to adjust for that, and you can tell whether we're live or not. Also, if you can hear us do this, we've got to be live, right? Yeah. Anyway, hi, how are you? Uh, again, once again, my wife punked out on me. This is the seventh week, as I counted, that she hasn't been on, so don't count on it, ever. <laughs> okay? Uh, yeah, she just, uh, apparently she doesn't like doing it, so I, I'm not going to force her to do it, right? You know? Uh, and uh, uh, let me see here. Uh, I, so I don't have a lot to talk about ever. I, I, it, you know, it's gotten to the point, I, I talk about this, I mentioned this on any number of occasions, that I, uh, uh, it used to be that I could come on here and, and talk to you for a solid hour about whatever adventure I had that day. I don't have adventures anymore. Uh, the, the most adventures I have is, is something breaks and I have to fix it. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Mm. Yeah, it's that simple, folks. It's that simple. Uh, let me see here. How far are we behind on the, on the web there? Okay. Uh, there, there's, there we are. Now we're up on time. Anyway. So, I, I, you know, I used to go on, I used to do a lot of things, I used to have a lot of adventures and people I would see and things that I would do and, and uh, 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 people that uh, were interesting that I dealt with that day. And now I find as I've gotten older, I don't leave the house. Now, part of that has to do with, I've shown you uh, at times this house, okay, this apartment. Uh, it is, um, how many rooms is it? It's, uh, let's see, we've got the foyer as you walk in the door. Then we've got the living room. We've got the dining room. We've got the kitchen. We've got the pantry. We've got a bathroom, okay? Then you go down the hallway, which we won't count as a room, but uh, let's see here. What did I, what did I go? Foyer, uh, di uh, living room, dining room, uh, kitchen, pantry, bathroom, that's six, okay, uh, then the bedroom, okay, then the guest room, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's uh, eight, uh, then the uh, 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 studio, where we're doing the show from right now, that's nine, uh, and then there's the bathroom over here, which is ten, and then there's a really large, large closet we have that if it weren't filled with stuff and say we had a kid, we could actually make it the baby's room. Really. So uh, this place is about 11, uh, 11 rooms, or uh, yeah, per, more or less, 10 to 11 rooms. And uh, that's a lot of room. It's 2,500 square feet. Yeah. Uh, it's bigger than some of your houses, all right? Uh, it's huge. And... I sit here and I go, well, I can go out, but why? Everything I want is here, you know? I have all my toys here in this room to play with, and uh, then I have a guest room where I've got a great TV set, and I can go in there and watch TV or watch it in the bedroom during the day when girlfriend isn't here uh, and when she's working. Uh, and, uh, you know, so I don't have those adventures anymore because I just... I know. I I suddenly realized yesterday. I went. Gee, I haven't been out since Sunday, uh, or I haven't been out since Monday. That was it. I went to the doctor on Monday, and I said I haven't been out. Oh, I did. I did go out. I did go to work out, and then yesterday I decided I better leave the house and go work out. Okay. So occasionally I go to work out. Do you want me to tell you about my adventures working out? Okay. Well, boy, is it exciting. I go in there. 
It's a place called Blink. Cost me 15 bucks a month, and I go in there, and uh, it, 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 I don't rent towels, so it only costs me the uh, $15 a month that I pay, okay? And I go up there, uh, down there, and I book in, and then I get on a bike, and I pedal for 25 minutes. And then I get off the bike, and maybe, maybe I might do an, uh, a couple of implements of torture, you know, those lifty things. And then I, I leave there, and uh, if, if I have any prescriptions waiting for me, it's right next door at my Walgreens community, okay? But if I don't, then I, I probably go down to the store and pick up some bread and pick up some eggs if I need them and a few other things, and then I come home. Exciting, huh? Isn't it? And that's why I don't have anything to tell you today about anything. Um, the, and, and the biggest adventure I had today was I, I always, I don't know, I always wind up having arguments with Amazon, okay? Uh, in this case, I bought a new um, uh, air conditioner from Amazon. And it turned out that the one that I bought, I bought from a third party. It's very, you know, to negotiate Amazon, you really got to be very careful to look for that Amazon Prime sticker. But I couldn't find a computer, I uh, couldn't find an air conditioner uh, from, from them, from Prime, so I got it uh, 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 that I wanted, because there was, they did have one that was a Frigidaire, but it was mechanical, so I didn't have the remote control, and I don't want to have to walk all the way over there, okay, in order to you know, check out the air conditioner. So, uh, to turn on the air conditioner. But, hey, pushing my finger of, on a button might be too much for me, okay? So, anyway, uh, I ordered this thing, and then I, I get a thing today. It's been shipped, and I'll be getting it, I don't know why they said this, July 3rd. What? July 3rd? So then I go on, I, I call Amazon, because I noticed that when I went to that page, it said, oh, you can also order it here. And it was Amazon Prime, and it was $30 less. And I, so I call them up, and I go, hey, it's $30 less from you guys. I want the price difference. I said, oh, we don't match price difference on third-party uh, stuff. Now, these third parties are people who they, it's kind of like you can order through Amazon. It's sh supposedly shipped through Amazon, but it comes from them. Oh, we, we can't give you a price match on that. I went, you used to. And they did. They would. They give you a price match on, uh, on anything, practically. Uh, but not anymore. Um, and they said, well, what you can do is when you get it, you can order the other one. And then when you get this one, you can call us and we'll have it picked up and you can send it back to us. And I went, that's too much trouble. And I just went. You know, forget it. I said, this is the last time I ever order anything from Amazon, which is a fucking lie, and I'll tell you why in a second. So um, I then go online, and I go to the order, okay? And it's already shipped, okay? And it said, and uh, something I got, you'll get it by, by July 3rd. Well, that was the outlying date. I went to the, to the order, and it says, it's coming by the end of the business day on Monday. So where did they come up with the July 3rd number on that? So anyway, I just didn't, I'll pay the extra $30. I don't want to have to ship it back and all that. And it's coming by UPS. So I'm, I, I feel good about that because UPS usually winds up coming to my door. Anyway. Ah. <sighs> See, uh, that, so th that's the excitement that I have in my life. You know, Monday was excitement in my life because I went to my doctor, all right? By the way, I spent, well, uh, you know, it, it, most of it's insurance money, okay? But I spent money for the city MD, and then I spent money to go to my doctor who gave me an e echocardiogram, all because I had a hard time breathing. I was having a hard time breathing, and my throat was hurting and everything, and 
and, and they gave me an EKG, and the doctor at the city MD didn't want to get sued, so he said, you better go see your doctor about this. I went to my doctor. He says, yeah, your EKG is always off, but let's while you're here, let's do an echocardiogram. Checks my heart. I'm in great shape, all right? But I come home, and I'm still having this problem where you know, I, I wake up in the morning and it's like my my throat is hurting here and everything, and I can't, you know, I just I, I can't I can't seem to shake it. All of a sudden, I realize, what am I doing every night? What am I doing every day that might be causing this? Could it be the pollen? Could it be this? Could it be that? You know, my doctor figured it was maybe pollen. All right, because he couldn't find anything else wrong with me. And all of a sudden, I started to think about it. I went, hmm. This friend of ours, I, I got to say this, I mean, I guess it's highly illegal, but a friend sent us a little gift. And the gift was a, I wish I brought it in here, a vape. A, a, not a vape pen, it's kind of like a vape something. It, it, it doesn't look like a pen, it, it's kind of oval and stuff. And it has cartridges you put in it, and the cartridges have, um, shall we say, a medicinal substance. Okay, but the trouble with this is, you know, to me, marijuana, I always loved marijuana because there was a social quality about marijuana. More than just getting high, it was the sitting around with your friends on the couch and passing the joint back and forth until it got so short that your fingers started to burn, okay? And then, then of course, the famous word that everybody would say, ear. Yes, it was Ear. It's not here. Ear. Because you're holding your breath. Ear. And uh, you would uh, you would do that. And they had this really sociable quality about it. But now you've got the vape devices. And I don't know if that has the same feel to it. You know? It's just here. You know, ear. Ear. And then you, you smoke. And then this tons of vapor comes out. And uh, it, it was flavored. It was, this one was pineapple, and then we had another one, strawberry, and I think there was another one that was, I don't mint or whatever. Marijuana, it didn't even have a marijuana taste to it. It had this artificial pineapple taste to it. But anyway, I, I have trouble sleeping like most older people. And um, I, I got tired of taking Xanax all the time to do it because uh, I... I I have a low tolerance to these drugs, and I have, you know, it takes uh, it takes me a whole day to kind of get over them. I I took a, a Xanax last night, and I'm right now I'm feeling like I'm reeling a little bit. But anyway, so here's the deal. I suddenly realize that maybe it has something to do with this vape, that it's irritating my lungs. So last night, I didn't do it because towards the end of the day, I started feeling... What happened the night before, I had done three tokes off this thing, <sighs> okay? <sighs> and then in the morning, I woke up and I had a hard time going back to sleep, so I took another three hits on it. And then I woke up and my chest was killing me. Apparently, the vape is irritating my lungs. Doesn't it, Pot doesn't irritate my lungs, but this was irritating. It was irritating my throat and my area in here. So I didn't do it last night. I took a Xanax to put me to sleep, and I woke up this morning, and for most of the day, I've still had a little bit of the residual from that, but it's not bothering me. I don't have the problem that I had that I went to my doctor for and to City MD for, and it was because I was doing this fucking vape, all right? So um, uh, I have to tell you, I'm feeling um, uh, a, a great deal better today than I have been feeling in the last couple of days. And uh, I, I think that's what it was, you know. So uh, anyway, so see, I do have my adventures, although they be illicit, all right? But it does take away, you know, the way they're doing pot now with the vaping and everything. You know, I, I don't want to sound like... I often wondered why guys who were my age were always going, you know, when I was a kid... But you do say that because your life has changed in alter unalterably as you've grown older. Uh, and um, 
as you grow older, you start going and longing for the days when life was simpler. Now, I wonder, you know, if my if my mother used to say, you know, I remember when I was a kid, things were better, you know. But but I, when I was a kid, I seem to remember, and, and the reason I guess why things were better is because my father went out and worked and brought home the bacon, and my mother cooked dinner, and you know, I was an only child, so I was doted upon. And I lived a pretty good life with my parents. You know, they weren't rich. My father was always having to eat out a living, you know. Uh, I always remember every month it was time to play, pay the bills, and he was sitting there trying to figure out how he was going to do it, you know, because he was a musician, and then later on he was a real estate broker. And, um, and he was not the best businessman in the world, so being a, a broker was marginally uh, money-making. But anyway... Uh, I, but, but I grew up in a middle-class uh, family in a very middle-class suburb of San Francisco called, called Marin County. And uh, uh, life, was, uh, life was simple, you know? It really was. Uh, and um, it wasn't as complex as it is today. And uh, it, it wasn't causing... What can I say... There is something that all the technology and everything is causing. And I don't want to sound like an old fart because, I, you know, I embrace technology. Hell, I do this every night. Do you know, do you know technologically what it takes for me to do this? I mean, uh, uh, Jack said to me once, Jack Bishop, who does a show after me, gee, I'd like to do mine on video. And I said, just stick with the audio, okay? Because if I had to stick with the audio, I wouldn't have all the problems that I have. But, you know, I mean, I've been able to turn this into a TV thing. The, 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 the stuff you see in front of you, like, go oh, for instance, that, when we have a, a panel, uh, I put all that together. You know, so technically, technologically, I'm not a Luddite. I, I love um, technology and what it does for me. Let me uh, turn the air conditioning down here. Let me see here. Because I had it up to 70, and I think I need it to be a little... Uh, cooler and let's turn on the uh, there we go there we go you can hear a little more uh, I need more more air in here it's getting a little toasty so I'm not a you know I'm not a lot I by any stretch of the imagination but I you know it, uh, you have this technology and it's amazing technology it's amazing what we can do today and yet all of it has turned to shit because all this technology gets subverted by people who want to subvert it. You know, if somebody wanted to steal money from you when I was growing up, they had to come to your house and break in, okay? Now they don't have to anymore. All they need is your password. All they need is uh, some information, and they can just rob you blind. Uh, and, and, and to have this technology come to that... It's amazing that this technology can allow people to steal from you, but this technology doesn't have the ability to stop people from stealing from you. You know what I'm saying? So it's, 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 really, uh, it, it's really turned into a real fucking nightmare. Uh, and um, I don't know if it makes me happy, you know? I don't know if I wouldn't be happier if I just did this show in audio every night, but... There, I, what I say is, I, I decided to use Skype to talk to the people so we could have groups of people. Or Actually, the reason I did it initially was I didn't want to pay the phone company to put in a line for people to call that I could then put on the air because those, were very, those are very expensive, just if you do the telephone lines like radio stations did. And so... Um, I found this thing called Skype, and hey, that's a cheap way for people to call in. So I was going to have people call me, and I talked to them. And then I go to the next person, I talk to them, and the next person, I talk to them. But then I went, wait a minute, I can put two people on at the same time. Oh, I can put four people. I can put, I can put 15 people on at a time, although we never had that many people call us. And I say, that's pretty terrific. I said, you know, I think maybe... Maybe it would be a good idea if I did a thing called a citizen panel. So then I did that. And, uh, and because I was doing that, it went from being an audio show to being a video show primarily. Because as long as I'm doing this Skype thing, 
uh, and I only used to do the video on one night a week, as long as I'm doing the Skype thing, I may as well put a, the video up. And so, yeah, I found YouTube and all that. First I did it on Facebook, and fuck them. I fuck, fa fuck Facebook, okay? But, uh, it, and, and it turned into this. And I made this thing so complicated for me that any one thing can go wrong, and I'm, I'm, I'm fried. You know, I'm just fried. Uh, a while back, Skype changed the way Skype worked. And uh, having changed the way Skype worked was, uh, you know, under normal conditions, you say, oh, that's, that's good. Skype, uh, Skype is, uh, uh, you know, improving itself. But no, it made it more complicated for me and more impossible, although it did allow me to change things around here and, um, and create a, uh, a situation in which we could, you know, um, um, uh, have this really nice visual uh, thing. But that was the side effect of them doing something that fucked up everything I was doing. Anyway, what am I, what am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is, is that I hate the fact that I'm 79 years old, I'm sitting here saying, these kids these days, you know, this technology, it's just... You know, and I get it. I get the technology. I make it work. Uh, I must admit it keeps getting harder and harder for me to grasp certain things. But I still was able to use what we call NDI to get all the pictures of all the people who are on the citizens panel up and things like that. So I can still do it. But the fact is that all of this has come to the point where I call up Amazon and I say, can you give me $30 off and match the price? And they go, no, we can't do that on a third party, whatever. And I go, in the old days you could. And they say, well, we can't now. And I go, okay. And then I got really mad and I said, well, this is the last time I ever buy something from uh, Amazon. But I was lying. And why was I lying? Because it can't be the last thing I ever order from Amazon. Because if I don't order from Amazon, how am I going to get stuff? You know, there's very few places I can go to get a lot of that stuff except by going to Amazon. So this one shopping facility has me buy the balls. And I wish I could say, well, I'm never going to do, I'm never going to go to, uh, I'm never going to go there again. That's it. Uh, I'm never going to use Amazon. Fuck you. I don't need you. Well, I actually, unfortunately, I do need you. And uh, what can I say? All right? I need him. Anyway, let me, uh, let me turn things on. By the way, if you're listening, Jeff, if you're listening, call. You know, we weren't mad at you last night. We just, it was just very frustrating. I had a frustrating day technically. And, and Jeff has a tendency to click the wrong things on his desktop on Skype and uh, then he clicked the thing there's a thing down there that says share screen okay and what it does is it shares your screen don't touch it when you call this program or I'll hang up on you okay but uh, he, he didn't know where that was and it, it was a real problem and he, I, I think I scared Jeff away and I don't want Jeff to be scared away Anyway, we got our first caller this evening, and I won. Do I, what? You won? Wait a minute. Let I'm me, the first caller. Let me let me turn you down here. You're a little on the loud side. Let me see here. This is uh, Michael Klein, ladies and gentlemen. We will uh, put him there. There we go. There's there is uh, uh, Michael should be there. Why isn't he there? Hold on a second. Let me put uh, Rob Alfano there. Hold on a second. Let me. Let me go here. Why? Why? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I'm trying to. Oh God! I clicked on something, and you know, see, it didn't go. There we go. Now it should do it. Okay. Do we get him? There we go. And then now we got to go. We got to get Rob Alfano here. We got to get him a space. Uh, let me answer Phil Meyer. He probably will pop in in the bottom. I don't know where he's going to pop in. Who knows? Hold on a second. Let me get everybody here. Uh, this is, uh, first, uh, let's see here. Let's get uh, Rob. There's Rob. Okay. And uh, we somehow we don't have uh, Phil. We answered Phil. 
And then he didn't get on. And maybe he'll call back. Uh, uh, here goes Phil. All right. Phil. All right. And uh, we have him. I got to put him in uh, the third spot here. There we go. All right. I think we got him. There we go. Okay. There we have three people already. We have uh, um, uh, Mr. Klein. Um uh, uh, I mean, uh, Michael Klein, and then we have uh, Phil Meyer, and we have Rob Alfano, who's walking around his house, which is kind of cute. Oh, there we go. How you doing? Uh, How you doing? I got, oh, wait a minute. I got two cameras tonight. Oh, you have two cameras tonight. Wait a minute. I got to add somebody else to our uh, our group, which our is group. my uh, Charlie Wallace. Chuck. Uh, Charlie Wallace. There we go. There comes Charlie. No, that's not what I wanted. Damn it, how did I get... <laughs> I click on Charlie Wallace and I get Michael's picture. There we go. And now I have to add Josh Wheeler, who is calling. Hold on. I'm just. I'm, we're just getting all this ready, folks. And as soon as we, get, as, as soon as oh. we get it done, we'll, uh, we'll be ready to roll here. Uh, this is... Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh. ba -ba 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 I froze. Ba -ba -ba uh rob alfano wait a minute uh, where is where is huh wait a minute hold on a second uh i'm gonna try for josh again here sometimes the names don't come up immediately uh josh wheeler there we go josh 42 and he's there and there we go there's the, there's the crowd folks so far okay uh hi everybody how are you hi, hi. Bust, busting the doors to get in Busting the doors to get in. Yeah, you know. But I was first. That's all that matters. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I called and he didn't answer. Uh, now, <laughs> now, of course, Michael. Michael has his his camera switcher, which you know. Yeah. <laughs> and I also have this uh, NDI monitor here, so I can well, pull minute, up well, wait a minute. website. Well, let me let me see here. Hold on a second. Keep talking there, and and Check we can show one, people. We two. show people what you mean. Okay, show Michael me. Michael is talking, and yeah. I have two cameras and a website thingy. Yeah. So you know, if we have something relevant wait. comes up, I can I, I the website and notice that it's. Uh, I flipped it 180, so yeah. it looks normal. Hopefully. Okay, I, 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 you know, I, uh, the fact that you've got all this going means I don't have to do a show tonight. You can do it. I, I'm, I'm, if you, as long as you're here, that's all that matters. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. So, I mean, I'm glad Phil's here tonight. Mm -hmm. I, I want to hear, I want to talk a little bit about uh, Trump's decision to not bomb Iran. Uh, did you hear Alex last night? No, I did not. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, the only reason is is that uh, I kind of uh, I'm of the same opinion that uh, as Alex is that uh, maybe uh, uh, logic prevailed, and uh, even though they're saying now that he got information ten minutes before he uh, turned the strike around, which was how many people were going to die, and then he decided according to what was posted, that um, uh, it wasn't a uh, tit-for-tat or uh, a strike. No, here, here's, what, here's, here, money, here's what happened. You're, you're telling the story kind of wrong. Uh, of course. No, what, no, what, no, what happened was <laughs> is that he asked, he, he, about 10 minutes before he was planning on ordering the strike, he uh, got a hold of, uh, he got a hold, he was talking to the military guys, and he said, uh, how many people will die if we, if we do this strike? And they said, we'll get back to you. And they went out, and they totaled it up, and they came back, and they said 150 people. He said, well, they shot down a drone with nobody in it. And I don't know if it's a proportionate response to kill 150 people. Now, what astonishes me is that Donald Trump was this rational? <laughs> yes, but he was. Just yes, Charlie. Well, Donald Trump has never killed anyone, as far as I've known to this point. So that was a big decision, yeah. and I think it was, you know, his humanity at Beetle too. And 
Uh, I don't know whether the public should know that he did that. I don't think that was a great decision to make it public, but I'm, I think he made the right decision. He's transparent. Well, uh, uh, yes, yes, Charlie. And if you believe that, I have a bridge in New York that I will sell you cheap. Okay, we, if, but if we believe... I already bought that bridge. What are you talking about? That belongs to what me. What do you mean? Explain yourself, Charlie. He, uh, he's a skeptic. I think it's bullshit. I think Vladimir Putin called him and told him not to bomb Iran. Really? Yes, that's what I think happened. There's no way the military would put, would, would go on a strike like that without, without already having computed how many casualties there would be. Well, there were reports no on CNN that said that he up. knew three hours ahead of time how many people would die. Before he ordered the strike, they would have told him how many people would die. Uh, maybe not in the Trump White House. <laughs> okay, well, I'm, you know, what I'm, what I'm going to do here is I am going to give uh, Trump the benefit of the doubt on this one. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I'm, I'm so ready to throw him to the wolves every time he does something. Uh, and this time I think that there was a certain kind of rational uh, decision. Now, that, that's why I, I go along with you, Charlie, that uh, you get skeptical because this is not his modus operandi. But, I, but, it is, but in a way, isn't it heartening to know that in this kind of situation, which we thought we'd all be dead 10 minutes later because of him, that he made a decision that was, uh, a, what I would say, a good decision? Yes, Rob? I think you're missing a key point. The point is that with any other president, you wouldn't have heard about all these mini steps, right? Mm -hmm. right? He would go to the, to the military and say, "Hey, I want to do this." They would have a discussion about it, and before it became per before it became public, on Twitter or some other stupid way, they would decide, "You know what? Maybe we don't want to do this," and you wouldn't hear about it. Well, so in Trump's world, like Phil said, everything is. Transparent. transparent so you hear what's coming out of his mouth immediately he wants to bomb them but then okay he thought better of it after his people told him 150 people well they only shot down a drone so i i think the same thing happens pretty much in other administrations just you don't hear it well i, I what i what i'm thinking here rob and and uh, please correct me if you don't agree is that uh, I think that he had to tell the American public what went on simply by virtue of the fact that we knew that a, 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 drone, a drone, no, a drone had been shot down, and now what was going to be the response to that? And so I think he would have had to have let the American public know, well, we're not going to do anything because, and then explain himself. What you're forgetting is that there still may be a response, but that may not be the response. Right. Uh, there might so. be a response. But isn't this Trump's first real life or death decision? I mean, no, he bombed Syria. Besides what's going on the border. I think this is the first really big decision about whether he could kill somebody. He dropped the mother of all bombs on Syria. You know, the one thing Trump said uh, as he was campaigning was that he didn't want to get into another conflict like uh, like Iraq or Afghanistan. So I think that that sort of thing uh, uh, guides him in his decisions uh, as to whether he's going to involve himself well, with... It, well, look, uh, let's face it. To begin with, he's caused a whole mess of problems with Iran yeah. because... Uh, Obama no, let me, let, no, no, Phil, will you let me say what I have to say, please, without jumping in with you? We hate Obama routine. I don't hate Obama. I just yeah, don't no, like his no, uh, no, the, the deal no, that he cut uh, with the Iranians. He cut a fine deal with the Iranians. There was nothing. Was there was nothing wrong with that deal. And the, the oh, wait, oh. and if anything, it was a deal which prevent which kept the Iranians from continuing to build nuclear devices. And now, because we got a, Phil, let me finish. Put my hand up. I know. I saw you put your hand up. Wait till I finish. Ah, uh, don't uh, wait till you stop breathing. Wait till you. Okay. Well, now I forgot. Wait, wait till the heart Now stopped. I've forgotten and what I was saying. Talk. So go ahead. What you had to say was so important. Say it. Uh, okay. Uh, the the deal that Obama did put nuclear weapons in the hands of the Iranians with uh, by ten, within ten years because so Trump does it within six months. 
No, 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 no. Trump hasn't done anything within six months. What he's done is he's put such sh sanctions on the Iranians that they're trying to egg him into a conflict. And Trump is smart enough not to take their bait. Hey, that's bullshit, Phil. Bullshit. That's bullshit. Well, that, that, that's what you say because you're a Trump hater. No, it's not that I'm a Trump hater. It's bullshit. The fact of the matter was it's better to have a treaty than no treaty at all. And what we have now is no treaty at all. Just like we had with the Indians. No, no, you know, no, no, no. Just we, fuck, we, fuck we, you. We fuck you. No and more. They're, they're no more with that whataboutism. So the same kind That's of deal we have has nothing it's, to do with what we have, Phil. Shut up, Phil. Patriot it had nothing to do. On. It had nothing to do with the Indians. Okay? Look. The United States has made treaties. Other countries have made treaties. We had the SALT uh, treaties for uh, uh, nuclear arms with the Russians. It's nuclear! Uh, yeah, nuclear arms. <laughs> and the, uh, you know, none of these things really mean anything. Uh, it's all bullshit. Trump Taj Mahal in uh, Iraq? Well, that could have been all right. And, and you know, it's, they got two for one and a free mini bar. J just like, you know, just like... Uh, uh, down in the Central America. You're thinking of the Dominican Republic, are you? Yeah, yeah, okay. DR. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Phil, so, now, now can I say what I want to say and you can shut up for a while? Remember what you want to say? I think I do. Well, the you're fact still too stone Oh, over Jesus. Me. I can't talk, Phil. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Just I, I'll just lay back. You, you, hey, I was you, busting your chops. You run the fucking show, okay? Well, I, I believe that you're the first, almost was one of the first persons to die by um, use of marijuana. What? You know, you, here you say that you had a, you know, three tokes on marijuana and your chest hurt, and, and you've been sick all week. No, no, well, no, I've been using that thing for a week or so, or a week and two weeks or so, and that's what caused my problem. Right. So, uh, the vaping. you know... You'll be the first person to die by the use of marijuana. No, I'm not going to die from this. Well, not if you okay, stop doing Okay, now it. be quiet for a while. Let some other people uh, put All in. Right, go back to your uh, to your rant. I, I I can't remember what it was, but all I know is that when you have a deal, uh, some kind of a nuclear deal, it's better than no nuclear deal at all. Okay, and and what you're saying is is that the nuclear deal that Obama put into place was a bad idea, but the thing was, it maybe it, maybe after ten years they could go back to it, or by ten years we will have negotiated a better deal all the way around. But at least we had a deal. When Trump pulled out, that allowed them to start renuking. Okay, so if they if they, hold on, you can keep quiet for a moment. If 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 uh, if uh, Iran. Uh, it, it, it renukes at this point, it's Trump's fault. Let me ask you this. No. Uh, Iran no. had a deal with, what, five or six countries mm -hmm. on this nuclear mm -hmm. deal. The U.S. pulls out, uh, but the uh, English and the French and the Russians and the Chinese and everybody else who was in on this deal are still there. I'm buying, so, I'm buying a little bit of what Charlie said, is that... Uh, Maybe Putin called him and said, you better not uh, do anything to Iran. Nah, Charlie's problem is it's too hot in Arizona. Uh, you're ignoring something, Phil. Last month, Trump threatened the other countries that if they continued to follow the nuclear deal with Iran and, keep, and, kept, uh, uh, and not doing the sanctions that Trump wanted, that he was going to put sanctions on them. Good. So they effectively pulled out of the deal too. They are not in a deal anymore because they don't want Trump's fucking them up either. And by I the way, by the way, Trump the today indicated that he wants to start talks up with the Iranians again. Yeah, he had Abby yeah. uh, 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 from Japan. Yeah, and, a letter. and they told Abe at the time, "We don't want to do business with Donald Trump." Yeah, we don't want to even talk to the man. Well. Well, and, that, uh, he certainly. It's just. They trust him. It's, yeah. it's just the first part of the negotiations. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Michael, would you please show us yourself and not all that stuff you're putting on the screen? Because uh, it, it's just, it, it's kind oh, of I'm, like. I'm reading about this horrible deal that Obama made. It doesn't look so horrible to me. Uh, uh, nope. What doesn't look horrible about it? Tell us, Michael. 
Well, uh, it's under the accord. Iran agreed to limit its sensitive nuclear activities and allow in international inspectors in return for the lifting of crippling economic sanctions. And uh, Iran had two facilities and where uranium and hexafluoride gas were fed into centrifuges in separate to separate out the most fissile isotope. Okay. So, uh, uh, yeah, by the way, uh, 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 Josh has his hand up, I believe. Yes, Josh. Um, well, if you don't like the deal that Obama made, that you know that's perfectly fine. But I guess when you analyze this, I think it's important to remember there are really only, you know, three things that you know can basically be the situation. Number one. You know, no type of deal or, or whatever. And, you know, the, the, the hostile nation of Iran possesses a nuclear weapon. Number two, um, they completely give up and don't possess one at all, or, which is not going to happen, you know, voluntarily. Or three, you have some type of negotiated deal that is always constantly in flux, Right. There's always this back and forth, but it's done to avoid a military uh, engagement between the two nations, which nobody wants. So, I mean, I guess I'm just saying, what else can you do? I mean, you know, it's it's the same charade or the same game that, you know, the United States played with the Soviet Union for decades and decades. And I'm sure that there were deals. Well, I know for a fact there were deals struck then that people said were, you know, horse manure or whatever. But they were the only thing that you could do other than, you know, start a military action. I mean, what's the other, what's the alternative is all I'm saying. If you don't like the deal, fine. Then say what other kind of deal you would do. Don't just well, point out that you don't like it. What do you want to do as opposed to that? And the, I'm not the, trying to say Phil doesn't know. I'm sure he's going to tell us right now. But uh, I'm, just, I'm just pointing out these are the options that are on the table, and that's pretty much it. Can I answer, Josh? Uh, what you all fail to see is that during the deal that Obama had and uh, that was honored by all of those countries, uh, Iran was the ma was a major supporter of terrorism through their proxies. Uh, also, the Yemen war. I call foul. And Syria. I call foul, Phil. Uh, you you no. got it. You can't uh, no, call I'm foul. Gonna call I'm foul. I'm gonna call foul. I'm calling. No, no, Phil. You know, I'm call. I'm calling foul, no, and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm, I'm tell you. I tell you why I'm calling. Unfair. I'm calling foul. Because that doesn't have to do with the nuclear disarmament. Yes, that has it to does. That has to do with an entire. Out. That has to do with an entirely different situation. The deal was so bad. That's why uh, uh, Trump pulled out of the deal. He mm. pulled out of the deal because Ar Iran, when you lifted the sanctions, was getting the money to support. Uh, the terrorism that was going on around the world that has been financed by Iran and, and carried out by their proxies. Okay. Yes, let somebody so, else let somebody answer so that, way, Phil. You, let's, if he pulls out... Phil, he, let somebody he, else talk. Let me finish. No, no, out, because you've been monopolizing okay. the conversation tonight and other people want to talk. All right, go ahead. Go talk, talk, talk all you want. Uh, it's, it's okay. I mean, I'm, I'm okay with what Phil is saying and and I didn't fail to see what he said we all failed to see. I mean, I understand the situation fairly well. And I was not always in complete support of President Obama's, you know, foreign policy. I guess I'm just saying, if even if Phil is correct, I guess all I'm getting at is what are the options? I mean, mm -hmm. if you want a different deal, then mm -hmm. what would you like the United States to do? I mean, I'm, I mean, you know... That's what I'm asking. What do you want done? Do you want some sort of ultimatum put down? You know, I mean, he's basically saying Iran is a state sponsor of terrorism. I'm not necessarily disagreeing. I'm saying, what do you want to do about it? Do you want a military engagement mm -hmm. where people like myself need to leave the private sector, put on a uniform, go over there, and take care of business for a few? I mean, is that is that what you want? I mean, I, I don't know. I'm just asking. Those are the options. Yeah. What happened to uh, Phil? I mean, Phil, Phil's here. Yeah. He yeah. came back. He came back. Yeah. I, I, I went to mute and I pushed the red one instead of the uh, microphone. Boy, you're kind of a Jeff. Oh. Uh, kind of like Jeff. Uh, Jeff, by the way, if you're listening, please call. 
<laughs> you know, it, it, yeah. what happened last night was uh, was a was a problem, and uh, you know, just I even wrote him a note saying thank you. You know, uh, and I'm sorry that you know you didn't call back. So Jeff, please call back. Anyway, you know, Phil and I, we don't always disagree as much as it might appear. I mean. I thought that the other night I did a, I played a pretty good fill. You know, I managed to piss off quite a lot of Democrats <laughs> while you were gone the other night. I, you know, so I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, uh, but 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 you know the point is here uh, that that uh, um, we're not talking Phil about uh, their sponsoring terrorism. What do, what do you what are you doing? What are you making faces for, Phil? What? What? You muted yourself? He's throwing a tantrum. He's throwing a tantrum. He should hang out with my uncle. He just had a, why, 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 don't we, uh, why don't we hear you, Phil? It, the mic isn't working? Oh, I, I got a call back. Oh, wait, wait, how oh, can we no, just we hurt? We just heard you. There. Oh, it, now it's working. Okay. I couldn't unmute it. We thought you'd throw a temper tantrum. No, no, I couldn't unmute it. I said, the mic's not working. You know, <laughs> it's... Well, you were doing all the signs of the mic's not working, except you weren't talking to say the mic's not working. Well, because I couldn't unmute it. It still had the mute thing on my picture. Well, apparently it's it's working now, Phil. All right. So, uh, no, I mean, uh, forget about sp uh, state-sponsored terrorism, because that wasn't what the nuclear, that's not what the nuclear agreement was about. Okay. Right. And and that was something maybe that we could then negotiate <laughs> later on. Let me let me bring something up here, and, and this is something that I've said before, and I will continue to say it again. Boy, I'm worn out already, and we're we're only 25 minutes into the citizen panel. Uh, the 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 situation was that uh, my argument is uh, the, the president today said that he would be willing to talk to them, but they also have to throw into the talks uh, uh, and, and not uh, you know, ditching all their ballistic missiles, okay? And my question is, they're sitting there, and who's their biggest enemy? Saudi Phil, Arabia? you can Saudi. answer that one. Israel. Huh? Israel? Y yes, uh, I guess Phil couldn't answer that one. Oh, no, it's Saudi Arabia. Well, Israel has no, no, no intention no, no, of no, having... No. Israel has no intention. Why is it then that they have nuclear, uh, uh, not uh, nuclear devices pointed directly at well, them? Well, because they're being threatened by Iran oh, oh, and their okay. proxies. Yeah, no, wait a minute. If Iran, <laughs> it's totally if, it's, okay. But they, my question, you're not totally answering. You're not letting me ask my question. My question is, why shouldn't? Iran be allowed to defend themselves and to have the implements that will allow them to defend themselves. Do, am I making any sense here? It's a fair question. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, kind of like, well, yeah, I, because they're not in a defensive posture, they're in an offensive posture. No, they're not. Who have they attacked? They haven't attacked they've anybody. Got, they've got yeah. Israel. Well, they've got proxies, Israel. Well, they've got they've Israel. Israel. They've got Israel with all those missiles pointed at them. They've got the United States with uh, all their drones and everything else. Why don't they have the right to have implements that will allow them to defend themselves? They wouldn't have to defend themselves no. if they weren't attacking you know, wait, everyone around they them. They aren't. Who have they attacked around them? Well, uh, first of all, uh, through their proxies. No, no, forget Israel. about that. Who have they actually physically attacked? Yemen. Who? Uh, Yemen. Uh, they're also in. They're in Iraq. Uh, they're in Iran. No, excuse me. They're in. Uh, so, uh, uh, you don't even know where they're Syria. in. They're you in Syria. No, you, and, and I understand that over 600 American lives were lost in in Iraq uh, due to the Iranians uh, that are in Syria. And where did you read that? It was on CBSN. No. When? Every day they talk about when, that. When they have in, people in, talking. In, in Iraq? They bring in these generals and, and air force. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, I'm going to believe uh, the generals. Oh, okay. Well, what, yeah. do they do for, what do they do for their life's work? If there isn't a war, they're not doing their job. Uh, these are retired <laughs> ones. 
And, and uh, you know, maybe uh, Michael, with all his uh, uh, computer power over there, can look up how many American lives were lost due to Iranian uh, Why don't you uh, type that in there? Uh, fighters type that in. in Iraq, type that in, in Michael. Type that in, Michael. How many American lives were lost in Iraq due to Iranians? Well, I mean, uh, again, uh, I hate to basically agree with Phil, but I, I, I'm a little hawkish on this and that. I do believe Iran is a bit, uh, you know, of a hostile nation towards the United States and towards others in the region. I mean, I understand the point that they might not have the need to possess a nuclear weapon if other people in the region did not. But the reality is that other people do, and I understand that they uh, want to possess one, and I understand the United States' reluctance to allow them to possess one, but I do think there is pretty good evidence that Iran operates covert activities in Yemen and Iraq and other areas, uh, you know, um, to basically harass the United States and the and, and allies of the United States on, on a continual basis. I mean, have they have they put troops on the ground and rolled over the border into a, into another you know nation and started a traditional war? No, but warfare isn't like that anymore. I don't think. I mean, we don't really see those wars anymore. You know, mm -hmm. uh, so. Uh, I don't count Iran amongst our friends. Okay, let's see. However, uh, uh, yeah. no, 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 hold, hold on a second. Hold, hold, you know. hold on 603 second. Americans have, have lost their lives due to uh, the Iraqis. I mean, the Iranians. The Iranians? Iranians. Uh, did you find anything, Michael? Yeah. It's, it's well, no, just screen. Phil, Very I asked yeah. Michael. Yes, Michael. Yeah, I'm looking at militarytimes.com, and they're saying 608 Americans were killed by Iranians. Uh, more than Iranian, Iran killed more U.S. troops in Iraq than previously known, according to the Pentagon. And this is as of April. The results were of IUDs and and uh, improvised rocket-assisted munitions. Yeah, they they are a pretty decent arms supplier to people that are not friendly to the United States. So I mean, do they do they pull the trigger all the time? No, but do they provide the weapon and the training to the people who do? I would say the answer to that would probably be yes. Alex, I mean, an all-out military offensive might not be the option, but what well, probably what we're looking at with Iran is a return to containment, right? Because they've passed a line that really can't be undone in in many ways. So. All you can try to do really is contain it. I mean, unless you want an all-out war. I mean, that that is an option. I mean, Jason. But who I, wants I, that? I, Jason. I mean, uh, I need I need to run this one by Alex. Can you say Phil was right? No. The six hundred troops were no, killed. By, no, because uh, because uh, it, uh, because Iranians? the quote is coming. U.S. troops. Because the quote is coming from the Pentagon, and I consider that. Oh, a, now I, the Pentagon. I, I consider this, that. This is Newsweek. I, Newsweek. Now he's got Newsweek is, over here. I, I consider yeah. that hey, a prejudiced. Uh, uh, oh, but, yeah, but who Newsweek are they quoting? Is who is Newsweek quoting? Uh, it was the Pentagon. Yes, of course. Yeah, okay, so you don't believe the Pentagon, you don't Iran believe... Iran was responsible for the deaths of at least 608 American troops in Iraq between 2003 and 2011, well, it's, according it's, to a newly revised casualty, casualty estimate produced by the Pentagon. Mm -hmm. uh, special Representative uh, Ian Bryan, mm -hmm. two first names, oh, Hook. Uh, anyway, I was uh, I right, know, like that, well, I was right, Alex weapons. was wrong. He should apologize. No, no, no. I'm not but going to apologize. Does this have nothing to do with I'm not nuclear going weapons. to apologize. Why it has to do. I, I, I made a statement that 600 American troops were killed by Iranians, and Alex uh, told me I was full of shit. And uh, now, He's because gone. of your good research, you looked it up. Alex was wrong. I was right. It's time He's for him. You're full of it, shit. His point was that it, we're talking about the nuclear treaty was it, whether or not it was a bad deal for and, and I, America. And it I think the good it's deal has nothing to do with how many Americans were killed. Because Alex said 
that the Iranians were not uh, going into other countries and and I didn't and, say uh, that putting boots I, on I, the ground. I, no, I firing. said they have not attacked other countries. They have not attacked. Well, I got six hundred and eight lives that say no. Wrong. No, you're saying they're saying that they that they, that uh, they, because of Iranian weapons and so on. Six hundred. Wait a minute. Six hundred and eight men were, died. I don't believe the Pentagon. Must, I don't believe shit the Pentagon says ever. Okay. Ever. Yeah. yeah. Ever. Just like I don't believe what the cops say when they say, well, we didn't mean to kill that black guy. You know, <laughs> come on. You know, am I supposed to believe him just because? Uh, hello. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Brian. Hello, Brian. Brian. How are you? Not too bad. Yeah. It's the, uh, tr it's the Trump lookalike there with his blonde hair. <laughs> you know, he lost weight. <laughs> Only his yeah. hair is real. His hair is real. That's uh, true. Yeah. Trump, we don't yeah. know about. I mean, the that color, the Trump. color may be questionable, you know, but uh, it's <laughs> you real. You got that Trumpy doll that you can uh, put up. But there. he also, yeah. somebody mentioned the other day, and it's quite right. He looks a little like Captain Kangaroo too. <laughs> you know, it's the bad. The red jacket. Yes. What do you think about all of this, uh, 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 Brian? Do you uh, do you believe the Pentagon when they tell you something? No, I do not. Guys. Not initially. Not unless, uh, like, several other sources from several other countries or you know, or and whatnot confirm it. Then I, then I may, then I may lend, lend the credence to it. I'm I should more. vest in tinfoil for you. Guys. I am not making the same mistake <laughs> I made when I was younger, and uh, you know we were in the run up to Iraq and Afghanistan, back in the uh, younger and dumber dumber days in which I was an idealistic. Uh, um, Right wing. How about you, Tony? We haven't heard from you tonight. Oh, that I've had an eventful night, but what do you mean uh, you've had an eventful night? You what know is what? It? You're, my you're, my you're, aunt Barbara just cursed out my uncle on the phone because he's mad I'm leaving. <laughs> it was a whole thing. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm not kidding you not. This is more. She came in from the Hamptons and she said he's a cheap fuck, and my mother's crying, laughing because he's all mad. It was a whole. I gotta tell Shaq when I visit next week. You know, and you gotta get a jolt out of this one. Now they're all mad. I'm not staying. He thinks he was trying to say. Well, you, when you staying. say you're not oh. staying, so people know what you're talking about, you're leaving your job with your uncle. Yes. Yeah. And your she job was basically, job. and, and it, I, I know that you really feel bad about leaving because the upward climb of your career there <laughs> was was I got tired of it, was really. was stalled. Because she just, all you were doing was making boxes for hats every day. Yeah. And you know what's funny, Alex? You got a future at Domino's. Yeah. But you know what's yeah. going to be great, yeah. Alex? Yeah, the kids now, the kids, he's worried about the kids, the son and the daughter. They are gonna. They may have to work now. So now they're crying a river to their father. Tony's out the door. You know what? Go fend for yourself, you lazy fucks. <laughs> Goodbye. Says you want me to stay? Give me a percentage of your business. If not, see you later. Tony, if we were to be honest about this, yeah. you know, how much money could you make just selling comic books? More than I'm making there. Well, then why yeah. are you there right anyway? I did, I'll tell you why. I did my uncle a favor because he wanted to retire a few years ago, so I went back. I stayed too long, and these two kids are so fucking lazy, <clears throat> Alex. The real Tony will come out. How lazy are they? I would they? boot them out of that fucking place faster than their head can spin. The only reason why they get paid is because my uncle is paying them. Because if it was up to me, I would fucking fire them so quick, don't even come in. This is like, a, you Republican Tony? This is like a bad buy. soap opera. So my Aunt Barbara called them a fucking cheap motherfucker. Okay. She drove away from all the right. Hamptons to right. tell them off. All right. Let's, uh, <laughs> so she's call them on the phone. All right. All right. All right. Let's move on to other stuff. Yes. Uh, oh, I'll, uh, I'll Rob, tell Shecky uh, next week. I got to uh, tell him. It Rob, was good, Alex. Yeah. Rob. I'm not getting invited to the holiday party. Oh, okay. Hey, Rob. Rob. Sorry. Rob? Yes. 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 What do you think about all of this? I mean, um, uh, don't you, don't, how do you feel about Iran and the fact that what we're asking them to do is be undefended? I don't have a, I, I, I have not paid attention. You know, I have paid zero attention right, to the news. Right, right. But here, here, for instance, we do this to countries. We say to North Korea, you've got to stop your missiles. Well, I mean, what are you doing? It's, you're, you're saying to them, well, make yourself completely defenseless and we'll do business with you. 
And what, well, if, when if, we do that, don't we typically uh, say that we're going to defend them? Well, I Isn't don't. Isn't that think, what we did with Japan? Yes, but we haven't done Kuwait. that. We haven't done that with. We, nobody's mentioned that to North Korea. Hey, if you disarm, we'll we'll protect you. And they'll say well, because we haven't gotten to anything like that with we. You know, all the talk. Trump's bluster about him, his discussions. Uh, they're all bullshit. There's nothing going on. He's having discussions and the guy's playing them. That's why no real talks because he's not going to get rid of his nuclear arms for nothing. So they, that's why there's been no discussion of us defending them. Yeah, he's going to sell them to Iran. Mm -hmm. right. I the subject doesn't. I I, 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 it just doesn't even interest me. I, I'm so fed up with, with politics, and I, I just don't. I just. So what does? Let me ask you this, because I think it's a good question to ask, because it's an important question to ask. What does interest? What you? does what? Interest you. Interest you. Cigars. If, if, if what, well, you mean, if, well, a lot of things interest me, uh, yes. none of which, none of it is in the news today. I don't, I, I pay zero, I'm, I'm at the point where I don't turn on CNN, I don't go to CNN's website, I don't pay attention anymore, because we've gone, we're, we're in, uh, what was it, in the Seinfeld episode, where, yeah. what is the, 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 the opposite, the, Bizarre world. Bizarro. Bizarro. Well, that, that, yeah. That's a Bizarro. Superman reference. Yeah, that's, off, that's a Superman reference. Yeah. yeah. So that's what we're in. We're in Bizarro world, and up is down, and right is left. And so all I do, I, I don't need the aggravation in my life. It's going to play out the way it's going to play out. And so I could give a rat's ass. That's where I really am with all this crap. I, what I liked was Kramer when he made a call when he had left all of them, and he they said, where are you? He's in a phone booth, and he said, let me look. He says, oh, my God, I'm in the nexus of the universe. I'm at first and first. <laughs> and, and what made me laugh about it is I lived at second and Houston, which is one block away from first. So I, I was two, a block away from first and first. So there really is a first and first. So Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's First Avenue and First Street. And, and I went up there uh, and one day, and I'm walking through there, and I, I looked at whoever I was with. It might have been girlfriend at the time. I said, you know, this is the nexus of the universe. How do you know which way to turn? And that's right. <laughs> that's right. Well, I, what I like is I would love to go to the North Pole, stand there, or the South Pole, stand there. there. And if I move in any direction, what direction am I going? South. That's Away. right. That's right. You can only go south from the, from the South Pole or north from the North Pole. Once you go an inch either way, you can then go east and west. But when you're right on it, you can only go in one, go in one direction. So. You can't lose that much weight to be right on it. What do you mean? What do you mean I can't lose that much weight? Well, you know, how, how would you be right on it? You know, um, you got to be pretty thin. On, on the uh, on the North Pole, you can be right there. You go up there, people who are there's a, they have the North Pole. I've yeah. seen this uh, yeah. North South Pole How, actually. It, it's like one foot in diameter. That's right? right, that's right. But you know, while you're standing there, if you stand right on it, you can The only direction you can go is south. Well, I got something for you. How about Boris Johnson? Boris Johnson had a domestic dispute last night at his home. Now, Boris Johnson oh. was the mayor of London. Mm -hmm. He is probably in line to be the next prime minister of, uh, of the U.K. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you, know, with, you know, taking over for um, May. And uh, it seems as though he's dating some woman named, and she's not bad looking, uh, named uh, Simons or something like that, and uh, he spilled red wine on her sofa, and there was such an argument that ensued afterwards uh, yeah. that the police were called. And, Justifiable uh, homicide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, you know, red wine on the sofa. Yeah, that's that's it. Simons is her name. There she is. She's not bad looking. Yeah, I wish There's... I I wish I could go to that picture. People can only see it as if one I, of the. If pictures. I talk, you can go to her, right? Or, right. Or okay. My... Okay. Oh, if nobody yeah. else talks, then we can uh, we can uh, uh, show it. There there we, there's there there's her go. picture right there. Oh, she's very attractive. Mm-hmm. You know, but she's going with well, Boris look, Johnson, if, so if, she must be a that... she must be a cunt. <laughs> yeah, well, if, if all of us remain if that quiet, lady is, <laughs> if that lady there is willing to date 
Boris Johnson. Mm-hmm. Uh, I say beat the bitch's ass. I mean, I don't really know. <laughs> I was just going to say, if uh, everyone remains Come quiet, on. it gives Alex enough time for mental masturbation. Looking. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. She should smarten up and serve white wine. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Uh, but so they had a he had a he had a what a domestic dispute over that? Yeah, yeah, and they don't call nine one one there. They call nine nine nine, and that's yeah. isn't that uh, uh, what's his name? Herman the pizza guys, Herman Cain. No, uh, that was, no my neighbor that's, told that, the Guardian that they heard a woman screaming, no. followed by slamming and banging. Nine 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 nine, nine is uh, 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 Angela six, Mer- six, six, Annika six. Merkel. No, no, no. Uh, Angela, no, six, that's six, six, Angela six. Merkel's yelling in bed. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening to what you said. Thought you were talking about Anton Lavey. <laughs> six, hey, six, six. Hmm? The lady could be heard telling Johnson to get off me and get out of my flat. Yeah, yeah. Get off my lawn is coming next. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Well, you know, it's it's Phil. It's Phil. Um, he takes as a compliment from a woman in bed. Get off of me, you fat fuck. Oh, yeah. hey, you, you no. missed this one. Leave my flat <laughs> and his lotion tell him his... to get off my fucking yeah. laptop. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah. a loud crashing well, noise. Let me see here. We we have well, uh, an eighth person. You know the name of that cream here. he used yesterday? I was yeah. gonna get it from my mother actually. Yeah, uh, it's. Uh, I'm not joking either because she does have her feet bother her. The shit works. Uh, uh, let me let me just look message at, it to me. You don't have to tell me on here. Yeah, it's in the living room. All right. Okay. Let's see here. Who just called? Who is that? Let's Jason. See. Oh, Jason. Let it's me Friday. see here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, do we have it? Yeah, there we have them. Okay. All right, we've got Jason. He's here as well. There we go. Hi, Jason. How are you? Pretty good. Yourself? Good. Good, good, good. Have you been hearing what we've been talking about tonight? A little bit. I was listening uh, a little bit, uh, kind of watching TV at the same time. Yeah. Do you uh, do you have two cents worth to put in on this? Uh, you know. I, I don't know what you've been talking about last two minutes because I've been getting set up in my garage. Yeah, and Alex, apologize. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would never have. No. Right. Yeah. Oh, I apologize. He's worse than Trump. I apologize, Phil. Yeah, when? To the, I, I no, I, I apologize to the, again? Uh, to, I apologize to the audience that they have to put up with you because uh, I allow it. <laughs> He's getting a fan base, Phil. Huh? Oh, uh, who, Alex? I, I don't know. On Alex's page, they were actually saying nice things about you. I was shocked. <laughs> you run them the wrong way. That's well, so someone that that ugly gets someone so cute. That's what I want to know. Uh, who? Oh, no. Well, look, look. Boris. Boris is. Yeah. Hey, come. You well, know, now she does. Look. That picture, she doesn't look as good. She looks like she's sucking lemons. <laughs> All these <laughs> things. Like. Huh? That's exactly the answer to that guy's question. Uh, why is someone so ugly paired with someone so uh, good looking? Well, there, there's a, there's a reason. Uh, money and power. Two reasons. Money and power. Oh, money that's and why power. Harry yeah. went for an American. Do you think, for instance, that he, uh, uh, that uh, what's her name, uh, uh, Melania, uh, would have anything to do with Donald Trump if he didn't have money? Absolutely not. No, no way. He's charming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Charming to watch, there's, Satan. Now there's oh, another. Hey, hey he's, now, he's done all right. Now for there's, himself. now Women there's a, that Playboy model. Is another woman who has come forward and there's said that he no, accosted no. her in a a dressing room in a, in a, where was it? Oh, the store that was yeah. across the street from him. Yeah, there, it was yeah, her husband. She's, she's selling a new book too. Alex. Yeah, yeah, her yeah, husband I mean, was. Uh, did he work for CBS or one of those uh, things? And uh, he, he was a. Uh, 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 some uh, announcer or something, I think, with CBS, and there was a picture of Trump, Ivanka, uh, his first wife, and uh, the gal and her husband uh, all together. I, I remember seeing that today. Uh, let me see here. I she wasn't bad looking. She kind of looked like I, the woman wait, wait, who's I, dating I, Boris. I, I think we have. Well, hold on a second. Um, uh, is oh, this? Uh, wait a minute. I think yeah, we have. E. Jean Carroll. We have. Uh, let oh. me see here. One more person to put on here. Hold on a second. Hold on. Oh, on the Vice columnist E. Jean I, Carroll accuses Trump of sexual assault oh in 1990. Uh, here's Alan Kroger. There we go. Al K. Uh, hey, full house. And, and, uh, Look at that. Uh, we get a full house. Is, 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 yeah. is that what we would call full house? 
Ten. Uh, ten. I think it's uh, ten. One, two, three. Yeah. Five. Well, Tedros. Where's Alan? With, with me, it's, it's ten. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Okay, now we got ten. Yeah. So I, I guess what I should do is uh, I Let's should put it up. Uh, uh, Eat it. Uh, 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 that would be a full house, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah there we go, uh, ladies and gentlemen. A full house. There we go. Yeah. And there's still 45 minutes left in the show. Yeah, we could go. To, we could go to. You could. Uh, we could go to uh, the. Uh, where is it? Uh, 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 Royal Flush. Uh, we no. We could go. <laughs> well, yeah, we could go to the Royal Flush. That would. Uh, that would happen. You know. Uh, but I'm not gonna. I. I can't do that. And we do have something beyond a Royal Flush. Uh, turn yeah, yourself. That's a surprise, right? Uh, n oh, there we go. Okay. All yeah. Right. All right. You, you want to announce what that is? What? What? Well, beyond the royal flush. Oh no, I won't, because okay. we've never had to do it. But if we yeah. have, uh, a, and maybe oh, never will. Meet, uh, if, 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 if we have one more, that's a royal flush. Yeah. Call it now. Uh, and then if we, uh, then if we have uh, 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 one more after one. that, we have the other thing. Yeah. Was well, that like three Jews and two Muslims? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Went to a bar. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyway. But yeah, we got a full house. It's not much. It's not even better ready. Huh? All right. What? what? Tell her you're off duty. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Uh, uh, hey, hey uh, Tony, it's overtime. Uh, you know, tell her you want overtime. I know. I did 10 hours. Time and a half. Ten hours time and a half. Yeah. How many? 10 how hours of the 4th of July is time and a half all day. Time and a half? On 4th of July, because it's a city holiday. Oh, really? Yeah, I forgot to tell you that. I was you know, in California, next I don't know if it's the same I'm in New York. If you, work, if you work more than eight hours a day or 40 hours in a week, uh, mm -hmm. it's time and a half. And if you're doing that on a holiday, I think double it's double time. time. Yeah. yeah, I get time and a half. Let me see here. I have an item here. What is this item? Oh, she's the best. I, I got a fun, a kind of an interesting little item here uh, that you might find interesting. They are celebrating the 25 years of the Today Show. The Today Show is older than 25 years, but they they're doing a retrospective of the 25 last... years of the of uh, Studio One. Is that it? Yeah, it's 25 years of the Glass Studio in Rockefeller Center. Yeah, yeah and, and, and they're do doing something. they're doing a a recap of of all that time and you know kind of a tribute to it and so on. Guess who they left out of it? Matt Lauer. Matt Lauer. <laughs> now, how long was Matt? He's under a desk. He was only there 20 of those years. It was only yeah. there 20 of those years. Yeah. Of those years. yeah. yeah. They oh, cut him out. Oh, wait a minute, we got Vernon. Nunn. We got Vernon Nunn calling. And, and oh, 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 we got uh, we got a royal. Oh, wait flush. a minute, hold on a he second. He wasn't I... able to make it. His office door was locked. Let <laughs> me see here. I got to get uh, that would be number ten. So I got to get Vernon Nunn on here. I have to put him in. Uh, get where's your deck of cards Vernon? out, Vernon? I should put my glasses on. It would be easier for me to see this. Okay. Okay, there we go. Does that work? Uh, Vernon? Ah, there we got Vernon. Okay, so let me transition over to, to so you can see Vernon. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Where, what happened? Oh, there he is. There's Vernon right there. And that uh, changes this from being a, uh, a full, full house. house, right? Yeah. To, to a royal a, uh, to a to a royal flush, wouldn't it? Okay, well, there we are, ladies and gentlemen, a royal flush. This is great. We're only one away from the New Deal, and uh, yeah, did yeah. you make it? You know, do you have that graphic oh, ready? Oh, I do have that graphic ready. Oh, okay. But I can't. Uh, I'm I not call someone to call. Huh? Yeah. If one yeah, more person just, calls, one more caller. We had the. We I, mean, had the we I would had, have to think that. To help you out, Patrick could call. I mean, I know he's listening. You know, he doesn't do anything all day yeah. except sit in that <laughs> fucking chair. I mean, <laughs> get up off your ass once in a while. I, I never thought about this, but we can, we, can we consider Patrick a lazy fuck? Or Jack could call. <laughs> he's rolling around. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, but so, if we get one more, I will be able to, for the first time since I made all this up, be able to uh, uh, add the latest 
Uh, the other thing that we call it when it's, well, that would be, what? how many would that be? That would be uh, 12. 12. 12, yeah. And I can do as many as 13 here. Uh, uh, it would be 12 with me. It's 11. Yeah. It's 10 up on the screen beside me. So. What would you call 13 since historically... Uh, can't, uh, what do you mean? Unlucky. lucky. <laughs> well, if I get 13, I'll just keep it the same as it would be for 11. But nobody knows what the 11 is because nobody's calling. But if somebody Well, it's 11 else callers calls, plus yourself is 12. Yeah. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You count. No, wait a minute. Wait, this is... <laughs> there are 10 people on the screen now. I am the 11th. That's a royal right. flush. Wow. That's correct. Okay. You get one ten, more. 10 is a, is a full house. Okay. Next caller get $100 in GabNet bucks. Yeah, well, you know. Sure, oh, what if, what if I call you with Friday. another camera? Oh, hey! Well, no, 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 it's got to be legit. Well, gotta be legit. Hey there, oh. let me say hello to, uh, uh, Vernon. Let, me, let me say hello to uh, Vernon. Hello, Vernon, how are you? Uh, I'm having to use my phone tonight because this stupid computer wouldn't let me download the latest uh, Skype on my, oh, my uh, desktop. Why? I don't know. It says can't connect to the server. Yeah. Now that what, what you're so what you're using is your iPhone, right? Well, it's an is Android. It, it, oh, it's an Android. It's very There's good camera. Problem. Very good camera in that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so I I just told the story about Matt Lauer, uh, who by the way is selling his home. I guess so he can share the proceeds with his ex-wife. Yeah, it's uh, Matt Lauer and uh, Ann Curry were left out of that tribute. Yeah, Ann Curry, too. Ann Curry was left out of it? That's me. Yep. Like, Why would she be left out of it? Yeah. She didn't do anything bad. He was still under the desk. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. He, he hosted for 20 years, and all of a sudden he was just vanished. Well, I don't think he's allowed on the property anymore. Okay, here we go. Are you ready for this? Uh -oh. yeah. Now, wait a minute. Uh, I gotta, I gotta get this uh, in here so that we can. Um, let's see here. Uh, it, it, yeah, it's Charlene, and let me see wow. if I can. Uh, I got, I gotta put on my glasses. I can't see where she is. Uh, okay, there she. Is. I think that's her. I don't know. It's one of those two. Let me, let me see. Is that her? Um, I don't know. No, that's him. Okay, I got, I got it. Well, what it is is that it's very similar to uh, Brian's um, address. Okay, so if I do this, I see a big okay, there we go. We should have it. There we go. Wait a minute. All right. I don't, but I don't see her. Are you there? Uh, uh, turn on your camera. Charlene, turn, on you your camera. turn on your oh, camera. Yes. Okay. Turn on your camera. Okay. Turn on your camera. You got to turn on your camera. Otherwise, okay. we can't see you. What are you uh, doing, Vernon? And, and we can't we can't do what we were. Well, I, until we see you, we can't uh, do the big uh, deal. I here. see. I see an eye. No, Charlene, turn on your camera. Can yeah, you hear you're me? messing it up. Sh yeah, Charlene, turn on. There we. Wait a minute, Charlene, turn on your camera. Turn my camera. Huh? I, I, I myself on my screen no but you, you haven't got the camera yeah, on turn, on turn it off and, off and on, on again, again. Oh, gosh, she's away. oh well. okay, hold on I'm gonna uh, try it. there you go you, you're gonna it'll start coming now uh, i don't think so i don't yeah, it's, think it's, so. it's 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 breathing no i don't i don't see it. well no we don't have it we don't have yeah. it her she got to turn on her camera she got to turn on her camera well, I'm on the iPhone, so I don't yeah, see anything. Yeah, so, right, you turn, the bottom. so you turn on the camera. How come turn I it off here? and turn it on, the camera. I can Hit. see her. No, all you can see is her photo. I see her video. I, I don't see her I video. I just see a flower with her yeah. face in the middle. Uh, yeah, me too. Oh, that's, that's not the I Michael, her you're seeing things. Should I try to pull back? <laughs> no, I'm seeing her now. Well, Maybe I mean, you got to turn on the camera, her. and you would have it, to turn it Alex, on then, it's too. On. It's on. Alex, I see her video. You I don't. I it we might don't. Just take a minute for it to go through to everybody. We don't Even see her video. Has to hit different servers for every caller. Huh? Do I call back? No, uh, no, because no, no. your phone will still, the camera will still be off. Uh, yeah, call back. Give that a try. You know. I swear um, I saw her. 
I didn't see her. I, I mean, I, look, I can see her talking. She's there. It just hasn't hit everybody yet. I if wish I was on the regular, you know, laptop. Just, just, just call us, back. call us back. I see, will you? I see Charlie. Hang up on me, Alice, because I don't know how to hang up. <laughs> Here, I'll hang up on you. Okay, hang up on me. How do I hang up? Same place. Wait a minute. Hang up. Wait a there she is. Wait a minute. It's funny. I see I, Charlene too. I think maybe we do <clears> have half of us do. I, oh, there I go. Now we have her. Yeah, don't turn it off. Okay, hold on a second. But now we lost. Uh, who did we lose? We lost somebody Nobody. else. Tony just walked away, but he's there. No, so. yeah, he's no Tony's but, walking. But. No, but I. No, I, all I've got. Al. Yeah. We got twelve. No, what I've got is his. He. What, what, you got is what, what I've got is he left us with his uh, with Tony. his with his uh, uh, screensaver, and that gives me the Skype logo on my thing here. here really, come, I'm seeing Tony's oh, here uh, comes uh, here, door. door. Yeah. Here comes Ray Renati. Wow! Uh, wait a minute. Hold uh, on a wait, second. Wait, are we going to hit 13? Yeah, I think we've hit 13. Yeah. <coughs> so uh, the symbol for 12 is also the symbol for 13. Well, let's see here. Yeah, where's Ray Renati? Hold on a second. Here, I are you there, Ray? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear okay, me? Okay, let me see here. Let me see if I've got uh, uh, Ray. You can Ray, delete Ray, Ray, Tony Ray, Ray, if you Ray, Ray, want. Come, stick Ray in that spot. There we go. There we go. Now, this, we got no, no, you're okay. You're all right. Don't worry all about right, it. Cool. Don't worry about it. We've got, but we don't have your, again, we don't have a picture on you. On who? Charlene on or Ray? Ray, turn your camera on. No, we've got his his freeze frame. Oh. A Alex, maybe with this many people, it just takes a minute. No, be patient. Ray. Because we I saw Charlene like way before. before. No, I know you see your picture, but oh. we don't see your picture. Oh, okay. I I don't. We we saw Charlene way before you did. I so I it just might take a minute on, for it to flow YouTube, through. YouTube, but yeah. I don't see her on Skype. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. It, it may max out at this. Uh, I no, see it, no, no, it and 13. no, it doesn't. It shouldn't. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, we should have uh, we should have a picture on, but we don't. But uh, do you want me to show you guys what happens when we hit this many I, I people? Think, I think we earned it. Huh? Yeah. I, I think you earned it too, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Here is what you get. Ta-da! It's a jackpot. Yeah. Well, we've yeah. never so hit a jackpot. Take a few before. seconds before I can see it. I know. But, yeah. Wow. I'm still Let's seeing the royal flush. Yeah. yeah well, it'll it'll yeah, switch it'll, in it'll, a second. Give it time. Give it I time. Can, I see it now. I'll see it on my other. Camera. Oh, it looks like Las Vegas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a jackpot. So that's our yeah. that's our. Uh, uh, and I have nothing after that. Um. Yeah. There's still work. We're all downhill from here, folks. Ray, we still don't have a picture on you. Huh? I don't know. I don't know why. Huh. Uh, you want? I can try over. Ray on Skype. This is cool. What's cool? The jackpot. <laughs> I can turn video off and then back on. Yeah, try that, Ray. All right. Let's see what happens. Uh, you know. Uh, I'm I, still uh, seeing the royal flush. It's going to take a little time for. No, it I see up. the jackpot. Seven, seven, seven. Yeah. Oh, oh there it is. Yeah. 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 Hey, I like it, Alex. Yeah. And what? Uh, there we go. Now, unknown oh, person is calling. I can't take another person. What? I'm sorry. I can't take another Ooh. person. We don't have a screen. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I don't. We don't have the room for one more person. I did not create. Uh, this is I, this I is think the we most. We need a 16 version. This is actually yeah. the most we've ever had on at one time. Although I wish yeah, Tony is, would come yeah. back and turn his uh, yeah. his camera on. Uh, but, Kill Tony uh, to whoever's calling in. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah I'll, I, 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 but that was an unknown caller, which means it wasn't a Skype call. It could and have been so, a robo call. It yeah. could be a robo oh, call. A robo this is Social Security. I work for Microsoft. Hey, by the way, how many of you have gotten these things now, these robocalls? I have. From Oh. Well, you don't know what I was going to say, Phil. Time. We've yeah. all gotten robocalls. But how many people here have gotten robocalls from Social Security? Oh, oh yeah. Well, fake Social Security, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, when you try to call them back, the number doesn't even Now, exist. my question is, why isn't the government going after these people because this is really but they're offshore 
Well, uh, who, who knows? They yeah. should be doing something to try and block that. All right. I highly recommend everyone get this app. It's like two or three bucks a month. I highly, a recommend, I highly recommend that I they, have that. I highly recommend Still. that they don't. Mm -hmm. Which I, one? I bought it for a year, and it's fucked. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Am I right, uh, Rob? It sucks, they right? They all suck. I, oh, I yeah, tried three of them. They all suck. Yeah. It, it, it sucks. It sucks Robo big Killer is, my, is the favorite. I, I, I have Robo Killer. Yeah, I but, have uh, it, but it doesn't work. But here, I mean, no, here's, here's what happens with Robo Killer. <laughs> this, is, this is the social security. Next moment, you receive this automated message. We want you or your retained yeah. attorney of record to return the call. <laughs> oh, that's a different one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I got that one, too. Yeah, but he, the thing is, is that uh, that uh, the Social Security people, these people should do something about blocking those from coming into the country. Yeah. I mean, this, that that's a real scam. Yeah, but they, do it, they do it over the Internet, and it's all local calls. They're using a U.S. company that makes all these auto dials. Yeah. But I think there's even a feature on my phone or in the Haya app that will block every call. But I that agree. Starts I, with the I, same yeah. area code in exchange. I, I, I agree with uh, with Rob. I put I bought RoboCall and I paid for I a know. year oh. up for it. Yeah, and, thirty-nine dollars. And, he, and here's what they do. Here's what they do. Uh, I somebody calls. I notice that it's not a call I want, so I go decline. And then RoboCall sends me a message saying. Uh, you just got a robocall that we intercepted. No, you yeah. didn't. I did. Right. So yeah. And I you're just taking. Don't answer any phone that I don't know the number. Yeah. That's all. It's hey, the same know. thing as robocall because. Yeah. And that's what your provider might anyway. be doing. I, I made <laughs> my own answer bot. Uh, it, it's just the settings that you chose, Alex, aren't the ones that are the most aggressive. So, uh, for instance, when they call me. Uh, what do you mean I don't? This. What do you mean? What do you... This is Phil. Hello. And then it's dead air. Yeah, I know. And I've, say, got, I can't I, hear I've, you. I've got all that working. <laughs> I've got, what do you mean I don't? Again? I know Phil. <laughs> and Phil. I, I keep him going for a half, a, half yeah. a minute. Phil, I've got all that working. Okay, yeah. I've got everything working on it, and it's still a piece of shit. It, I, you know, what happens is if this thing really worked, I shouldn't be getting robocalls. But they, the the technology on. keeps getting uh, getting around the robo killer. You know, so what that, good is it? Look, so why bother? Not, I've got no, uh, they, uh, he's today. Still getting at least seventy five percent of the calls for me. To, you to, ask yeah, Alex it's why the government's allowing this. Here are two two words for you: agit pie. That I knew that was coming. Yeah. <laughs> agit pie. As I call him, Sandy Dick Hair Pie, the toilet's getting twat, as you as you well know by now. But I, I, Hey, I got uh, today. It said I got a credit card offer. Uh, I got a job offer. Brian was talking, oh, Phil. Brian was talking. Yeah, he, he gave his agit pie. Okay. No, I mean I wanted to talk to him about agit pie. Oh, enjoy. What is it you hate about <laughs> agit pie? Well, I know Brian. he wasn't Obama. He was appointed by Obama, but he was given more. He was he was. He wasn't appointed by Obama. No, he was appointed by Trump. He was appointed by Trump. He was elevated to the uh, to the number one position by Trump. By Trump, yes, but he was a. a from what I understand, he was an Obama appointee. No, no, no. not in never, not, in not his... even, not even as a commissioner before. He oh, was, really? No. He was, he was appointed by Trump. Yeah. Never, nevertheless, uh, you know what he, what he's done, all he's done to dismantle net neutrality. Oh and, yeah, yeah. I mean, he wants to, but he hasn't been able to ruin net neutrality. You know. At least yeah. not in California. Yeah. Yeah. He so. can't. Uh, wow. Nothing has happened with all this net neutrality stuff, and everybody was uh, prancing around and saying that porno wouldn't be available anymore. Uh, Nothing has happened because net neutrality hasn't been, been killed. Court. Yeah. Net neutrality hasn't been killed, Phil. Net haven't you neutrality heard? has nothing to do with porno. It has to do with bandwidth. Uh, I was in relation to Alex putting that porn, those porn actresses doing no, that. Well, that was a spot that they did. But the fact is, it, 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 but uh, net neutrality is still in effect, Phil. Don't you know? Uh, I haven't seen a difference. What do you mean you haven't seen a difference? Because net neutrality is still in Nothing's effect. Nothing's been touched. Yeah, it hasn't been touched. Uh, yeah, some some liberal lawyer or judge yeah. uh, gave a stay of execution. Yeah. But, uh, 
Phil, do you actually want to lose? You, you want to? Why wait, do you support, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let let Ray say what he was going to say. Ray? Can you see me? I'm no, sorry. Am I still invisible? I'm still invisible. Uh, I see yeah. you. Yeah. We okay. see, I see you. I don't oh, okay. see him. Um, We're not Phil, getting. Do here. you actually? I just want to make sure I understand this. You actually are against net neutrality. Uh, I don't see why uh, that uh, <laughs> s these small these YouTubers and things like that need the same pipe as somebody that's supplying us with a service like Netflix. I think that these uh, larger services uh, should get the bandwidth. Why? They uh, have it already. Well, They yeah, have the it already, like, Phil. Do you get Netflix? Yeah. Okay, then they have, the, they have it, don't they, Phil? Yeah, but they don't have it to the same extent as you do. No, what extent do they need it? Well, obviously, with the more and more content, and that's the way Phil, the future is uh, Rob, going. Explain, uh, they, ex explain it, Rob, explain it, Why don't we wait to see if we really need that or not? Yeah. But then well, it becomes like television, you, you and then we lose, it. we lose the one thing that we have uh, that's a way for the people to communicate on an equal footing, and then we lose that, and we're back to the way it was before. And the point, who, who's your service provider? What's so oh. great about that? My service provider uh, yeah. for uh, okay. internet for internet is Wave. Wave. Okay. So what would happen if Wave didn't want to pay the extra money for you to get good bandwidth through YouTube or good bandwidth through Netflix, and you were getting stuttering video because Wave didn't pay the right amount of money to get that bandwidth, but people who are on AT and T or on Spectrum are getting the bandwidth because they were willing to pay that extra money. You think that's fair? Well, Wave has got the uh, one gig. Uh, uh, you, don't know what, you don't know what the fight is, is you're talking fair? about. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yeah, it's fair. Hold on. Jason, Jason has had his hand up forever. Just Jason. Okay. Hey, hey, it's also part of a question in the comment. Rob, what is it called that uh, your servers can do for your customers where they can weigh the value of content and speed stuff up and slow it down? QoS. But it, there's another name for it, isn't it? Uh, qual no, uh, quality, quality of service. service. Okay. Yeah. So that, that's one thing that I do disagree with net neutrality right now is they do need to rewrite it because there's companies like AT&T wants to do a quality of service over everything and be able to weigh stuff where a voice conversation needs to be able to get through faster than you, you can always. Your wait a minute. You could always do quality of service within your own infrastructure. OK, I don't have an infrastructure. I have a modem and I have a computer. This is not about internal infrastructure. But, and it's, it's for everybody overall who doesn't have that kind of infrastructure. If your provider is allowed to be able to do that quality wait a minute, of service wait a minute. for you. AT&T can, can on their own, just the way they, could, they block the email port. You can't set up your own email server in your house without paying for that. They can block. They could do quality of service on any of that stuff in Not their with own system. Neutrality. Not with and nothing neutrality. to do with net neutrality. It is because you can't slow something down to speed something up with net neutrality. Everything has to be treated equal. Uh, right yes. now, I don't know that I don't know so that you, I agree with you. You can't take well, a voice you don't conversation the bill, to speed then. up in order to slow down uh, email to open up an email, or even to be able to slow down a video that's going to have to buffer for two seconds to be able to speed up a voice conversation. When you know half of these voice conversations now are all over VoIP and everything. There, there, there's just it's a it's a level that they're they want to be able to provide a service to their customers that they're not allowed to because of the net neutrality. So I wasn't aware that me. they weren't allowed to do that. No, they're they're not. Then that was when, one of the big things that they were trying to come out with when they were get wanting to get rid of net neutrality. And even AT and T was still sitting there and saying that we're gonna we're, we're not gonna try to block people. We're not gonna be able to you know not gonna mm -hmm. try to block you from going to Comcast website like Comcast was doing to other people. You know, it, and that's where it really became a problem is where some of these providers were blocking you from going to their competitors' websites. Yeah, and the, yeah. that's easy to do. They have control of the DNS, so they can do that easily. And that's and that, not net, but that has nothing to do with net neutrality. I I, I disagree because that, I don't. net neutrality is all about speed and bandwidth, and blocking a blocking the competitor's website has nothing to do with that. It's, not it's a bad it's business. Chunky. No, no, no. If 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 AT and T is blocking you from going to Comcast, that's done. That's. Businesses do that all the time, right? If you go to your, if you go to work and you type in, uh, you know, porn.com or whatever mm -hmm. your porn site is, you're not going to get there. They that's block a firewall. It. Yes, exactly. No, so not talking, that's, that's not exactly what this is about, what Rob. Rob, it's about but, if AT and T is offering the same service that Netflix is, and they make Netflix choke, 
and they're going to make it look like AT&T is a better service because they have a better pipe. Right. That's not yeah. what we're talking about, though. That is what net neutrality is about. It's about but, making but that's what I'm saying equal. is where your provider could make all video services equal because they're reporting in as being a video service versus they have the ability to slow your email down because you don't need to open up your email at the same speed as you want to watch a video or you want to be able to carry on a conversation with somebody. You know, and they're being stopped from being able to do that with the current net neutrality rulings. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm trying to call... Based on what you asked me, at this point, it's above my pay grade. Are you still there, Josh, by the way? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, for some reason, your picture's not coming through. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, You're coming uh, through. He's coming through Skype. You're coming through on Skype. I'm not seeing his picture on Skype, oddly enough. You need a bigger screen. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, oh, here we Apple go. Screen. Okay, I, 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 I just hung up on Tony because he disappeared, and uh, I want to put, uh, let's see here, Hog Rider, which would be Kevin. Okay, uh, Kevin, now oh, there you go. There. Uh, uh, well, uh, is Kevin in there? No, is Kevin uh, in I there? I think so. This is, this is still a jackpot. Where Where is the thing? Well, I, I, I've got Kevin here, but I don't have his picture. This is, uh, I think this is... He was a, there for a second. This is about it. Yeah. Yeah. 12 is it. Yeah. Got a like, full load tonight, huh? Am yeah. I still gone? Yeah, yeah. 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 Can you hear uh, it? Uh, wait a minute. Ray, Ray, we lost Ray's picture again. This yeah, we got his audio. Are you there, Ray? Uh, yeah, I am. I turned my camera off and back on again because you couldn't see me, so... Um, yeah, well, it was. It, we saw you for a while there, and then, uh, oh, you know... I see you. Yeah, well, we, I don't see Yeah, him. I see them, too. I, I see, see dead people. I see <laughs> dead people. You know, I went to uh, Yosemite for a couple of days, and I, my wife and I hiked up this really long trail, like six miles, super steep, and I fell on this granite on the way down oh. and tweaked my already screwed up knee yeah. and had to walk back six miles steep downhill. Mm. I was like a zombie. Did you break your Leica? No, I didn't. <laughs> Okay. But I, luckily, Always I had those trekking life. poles. I used them as crutches. It took me four and a half hours <laughs> to get back. Let me see here. All of a sudden, I've got a full screen on my on my Skype. This Skype is just tonight. Can you see me? Yeah, yeah I can. Uh, oh, no, I can't see anybody right now. Uh, Hold on Click on one of the pictures. See if you can turn uh, it on. I was asking you that because I had my hand up. I've had my hand up for yeah, a while. Well, now, we, was, now we got Ray. And, uh, I'm impressed with the multiplexing that, that's done on the Skype. You can hear a lot of people at the same time. Brian, yeah. you're in a circle, and the, your position is such that you can't see your hand. Now I see your thumb, but uh, yeah. now you can see the hand. Yeah. So uh, it, 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 it doesn't take to this many people that well, you know. Uh, I'll, I'll let everybody see what I mean, see, because we got, uh, we got those Skype things, and those are people who are actually here. Uh, I, I, I believe, um, is Kevin here? Is, is, uh, is, uh, is Jason there? Hello, Jason. Uh, Jay- Sorry. I heard oh, you. yeah. Jay- Jason's moving. Oh, okay. Well, let's see here. Jason's moving. Yeah. Who, who we got in the number two spot? I, I can't see half of the stuff. I don't remember. Now here comes an unknown person. I don't want to add them at all. Come on. Okay. That could be, uh, you know. A royal jackpot. Oh, oh, no, I, I, I don't. I don't want to push it any further. So we've already pushed it. Um, I think you'd be a jack shit. I'd be the ghost of Ed McMahon saying you won the publisher's clearinghouse sweepstakes on Skype. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes, hey, yes, 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 Brian. Anyway, um, oh, damn phone. Anyhow, I just wanted to point out. I uh, looked this up, and it says here uh, he's the first Indian American to hold the office. Ajit Pai. It has his middle name. I can't pronounce it. But he has served in various positions at the FCC since being appointed to the commission by President Barack Obama in May 2012 at the recommendation of Mitch McConnell. He was confirmed unanimously by the United States Senate on May 7, 2012, and was sworn in on May 14, 2012, for a five-year term. So he was appointed by a Democrat. Yeah, on the recommendation right, of, of Mitch McConnell. And he's gained power through, a Republic, through the Republicans. You said it was Mitch McConnell. Uh, Barack Obama at the, at the recommendation of Mitch McConnell. Wasn't Mitch McConnell in charge of the Senate uh, then, too? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 
Well, so it, Mitch McConnell would have had to. Let me ask a question. Okay. Rob, are you still there? I'm here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, actually, probably wasn't. We're not getting your picture no. now. It's, <laughs> So, you were right. This is what I, happens when you have when we have what? Thir- too many people. Thirteen yeah. people. Yeah. 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 Overloaded. Yeah. Uh, well, we did. We just found out why we blew Skype. up Skype. We blew up <laughs> Skype. Exactly. Yeah. I thought you could have twenty-five. Supposedly, you can have fifty. Really? Yes. I don't know where they all fit. Half what would you, what would you call fifty? A concentration camp? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, geez. oh my God. <laughs> no, I just call it uh, half of Hollywood squares, but I guess your your analogy works better. Yeah, yeah. thanks. Yeah. But I mean, it, it, uh, Kevin, I don't see, and I don't see uh, who is in the number two spot. I have no idea now anymore. Who is who, VN? Huh? Uh, let me see. Vern, number, oh, Vern, two, number two Vern. spot is uh, Rob. I don't have a picture on him. Okay, <laughs> and I don't have a picture on. Um, uh, let me see here. Um, who is uh, that? Would be number five. Who would be number five? I don't have a picture on Josh, and I uh, don't have a picture on Kevin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, and I have no well, idea why. Uh, the concentration camp thing has to do with Ocasio Cortez. What? Uh, 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 AOC made a statement about uh, concentration. Yeah, and she camps. was absolutely right. And uh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Split, you split needles. Press. What? You're splitting, you're splitting the hairs. Oh, wait a minute, I'm you splitting know. the hairs. She was absolutely right. Uh, a, so concentra- a camp is a, one thing and a no, German camp uh, is something uh, else. No, a, a concentration camp is a place in which people are put uh, who have to have, uh, without, without benefit of trial, without benefit of trial and because of their race. Yeah, and she was saying that she wasn't talking about the concentration camps in Germany, which is what she was really referring to. No, she wasn't she referring to the She never used Nazi or Germany in her yeah. She was, she was calling right. our well, camps. I just got to look it up again. She was yeah. talking about our camps as a concentration camp, and when they asked her, what did you mean by that exactly? She said, a concentration camp is a place where we inter people without benefit of trial because of their ethnic background. Well, that sounds like Gabnet with 50 people. No, no, yeah. <laughs> So I guess you guys talked about the, the, the report from the HHS the this Center morning. Political uh, oh, wait a minute, What's, Kevin. What about the you guys HHS? Talked about the HHS report from this morning that they were down there that this last week. Those two uh, camps down in uh, Texas. No, go ahead. Tell us. Oh, about oh yeah, they, they, the, the one gal was down there, and she said that they were interviewing some of the kids, and they were in onesies that were filthy. Yeah. The, they were interviewing kids that were peeing in their pants while they were talking to them. The, the, you know, they were it's not being that. fed. They were not getting soap to clean themselves. It is right. disgusting. Nine-year-old girls yeah. taking care days of two-year-old babies. Yeah. That's, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. They're kids taking yeah. care of kids. What the hell? That's okay, right, Phil? Yeah. But okay. you know what? The stock market hit an all-time high oh, today. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> fuck you! They are not Jews, so they are not the concentration camps. And how does that help people? How does that help people? How does that help people right wait a minute. How does that help people? Who, so they'd be better off dying in the desert. How does that help people who don't own, uh, own, own, don't own uh, hey, stock? Hey, come on. You, well, just because you're a Democrat, does that mean you have no sense of humor? You know, did, did you lose the sense of humor at the okay. voting box? I lose I my, sense, my of sense of humor when you when you make statements are that are stuffy. totally asinine. These children are being brought all, left uh, by themselves. It no, ain't their fault. They were separated. No, they were break, separated. The they the were children, separated. Are the, the children are breaking the law. <laughs> Wow. There's one other thing. These are un, unaccompanied children that you're Bill, talking come about. On, they are man. not. They're some of them, some of them are government. infants. Oh, this is why. And, and by the way, this are using is... them just to claim asylum. That's this, not this, true. They're I mean, renting them for eighty dollars. Bullshit. That, that's Phil. such racist stuff. Did you get that from World Net? They're that, renting them. Phil, you know that's not right. You know that that's you know that that's a, a very that small April? number. You it's fifteen percent are unaccompanied. For well, that, okay, fifteen percent. That's pretty small, even if it's true. There's thousands of them. Uh, okay. Alex, you have permission. But, but they, we, you know, they tore them away from their parents. You know that. I mean, it's all it's, exactly. You know that, and they gave it to people all over the country, and they didn't keep a record of it. You know about that, right? 
yeah, that that was for the first month, and then when well, they stopped uh, letting them go uh, because of the uh, well, is a decision that started with an H. Uh, it was uh, uh, a guy's name, and it had to do with how many days they had to hold them. And uh, so now I think what they're doing is they're moving them to different places so that they can get around uh, this 20-day limit. Yeah, but it's a, it's the government. Show game. It's called the, the show yeah, the, game. The government is not sending any anybody down there. Judges, they need judges to uh, give these people due process. And once they get the due process, they'll either be allowed into the country or sent back. So you're admitting it's a governmental problem? Yes, caused by the Who's Democrats. Head of the government? Caused my by, wife caused today, by my wife today. Caused my by wife Rob, today. Donald Trump. Let, wow. let, let uh, Rob talk. We're losing everybody's picture, by the way. My, Go ahead. My wife today was my wife today was sworn in as a United States citizen. Oh, congratulations. congratulations. Thank you. It was an unbelievably amazing ceremony. There were forty-three people there: Iraqis, El Salvadorans, Filipinos. Um, a couple of countries I never heard of, quite frankly. Any Mexicans? Uh, uh, Mexicans ain't coming uh, here. There were a couple, I think. I actually have all their names and uh, where they're from. They give you a um, like a program. It was in a courtroom. We had a judge. Um, they uh, they give you. They, it was one of the most moving ceremonies I have ever been a part of. I expected it to be like DMV, you know. I expected it to be just everybody <laughs> line right. up. Okay, here, put your hand, you know, up and and repeat the oath. But uh, the judge said so many wonderful, moving yeah. things. It was it was it was uh, quite amazing. My and I left did there. That. I, I let. Did you go? Uh, it was before I met her. Oh, okay. Uh, I left there with such a, a warm feeling about this country, uh, you know, and, and tonight it's kind of been destroyed again, just sitting here listening to everybody, quite Thanks, frankly. Bill. I've been to one, and it's, uh, it is, hey, it is. Hey, hey Vernon. Wait, wait, uh, Jason has his hand up, Phil. Who? I can't see. Oh, okay. Yes, Jay. Hey, I, it was just a joke. I was going to say, see, Phil's girlfriend, another foreigner taking a job that Americans not willing to do. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know what I? You know what I have? And next week I have to get it. Is uh, they give you a packet with all kinds of information, and one of the things is a letter from the White House on White House stationery, signed, unfortunately, by Donald Trump. So you got that <laughs> manic signature. In black marker, it looks like a Sharpie. Computer doing Say, it. don't even get a ticket, or I'll ship you back. <laughs> but you know, and you know how you know it's not Donald Trump. It's because, and and you got to read this letter because this letter is so wonderful and nice. Yeah, Obama and, wrote and, it. You know about <laughs> family. About I mean, it, it, there's nothing in it that Donald Trump would have said, and it's uh, so the whole you know. It yeah, was a great day, it really was. I, I met a lot of nice people. I met a lot oh. of nice people. All these these people who were, you know, uh, there to become citizens. The the judge decided that they want, you know, the judge said, you know what I want to do? We have a handheld microphone, and we're going to give it to people who want to say something. And people were talking about how they got educations, how they're thankful for being here, what they're doing with their lives. And it was just wonderful. I mean, it was a great day. That's great. And all these people came legally. They did. They came legally. They took yes, my Phil wife. Got his, uh, almost girl. six years. Yeah. Phil made sure she had her papers before he uh, made her his girl. <laughs> no, no, I walk her. She doesn't <laughs> use papers. She had to be a citizen. She couldn't have a green card. She had yes, to be a citizen. Ray. I, I think the Brazilian gal green. that had a green card. Ray. Yeah. yeah, I just, my my wife went through that too about uh, 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. And I didn't go, Rob, because I thought it was going to be like the DMV thing. Exactly. And she, and she came too. back so upset that I didn't go. She wasn't angry with me, but we both thought it was just going to be some boring DMV thing. And she said it was so moving. And everybody it else had family with her, and she was all by herself. <laughs> exactly. And it was one of the everybody big regrets of my life. Yeah. It's, it was amazing, and you, you yeah. missed out. You definitely missed I, out. I know, I know. Yeah. And it makes you proud of the country where I haven't been proud of this country in a while. Yeah. It used to be what this country was about. 
until it still Trump is. Got in there. The things that the no, it's not it because not. the things that come out of the White House, the things that come out of this administration are antith- the antithesis of what went on in that courtroom today. Yep. Now it's give me your educated, your privileged, your no, people it, who come here with money already. People that want to come here. That are willing to go through the process and not jump in the front of the line. Then go back to the way it was when your ancestors came over here. Just sign your name in a book and you can go to work. Uh, No, because they had to have people sponsor them. They had to have a place to go. They had to be self-sufficient. No, they did. They came over to Ellis Island and saw my parents. My parents. Yeah, there was no. There there was no welfare. There was no. uh, You know, all these services. If if you look at statistics that the these illegals, basically all the illegals, they don't take welfare because they can't get it. Right. They make money. In in San Francisco, they are given it without question. If they, you know, because nobody will ask them a citizenship question. Yeah. Well, San Francisco, I know my grandparent or my grandmother came over here as an illegal. She never took any welfare. She's an illegal? She I'm was. I'm telling illegal. ICE. I'll have to <laughs> dig her up now. <laughs> it's funny hey. how many people come to these things. They, the uh, the two state senators sent, sent um Delegates, the delegates from their uh, office to greet everybody. The uh, Elks Club handed out big American flags to everybody. Um, did they do it, it in Virginia? Or yeah, in we did it in. Oh. No, we did it in Harrisonburg, Virginia, in a courtroom that uh, uh, federal district court in Rob, uh, Harrisonburg. How, how long was she working on it? Getting her. Uh, well, so I, we we're, we're going to be married six years this September. So from fiancé visa, which was before we were married, oh, until you're like now. Oh, you like 90 Day Fiancé, then. Uh, what's that? That show, 90 Day Fiancé. <laughs> oh, yes. <yeah. laughs> I don't My know. It's not a six-year. <laughs> but hey, Rob, it was uh, about six and a half you? years. Six and How half much years. does it cost you? I didn't even add. You mean today was free? There's no charge. Oh, no, the, all no, the different the fees. Process, it's so expensive. Uh, it's pretty expensive. Uh, so you're tired, you're weak, you're hungry, huddled masses. They can't usually afford it. And, and well, the poor, which is what you'll be true. after this. And that's who yeah. should... Be when she gets hot, Eddie! You should be bringing in the people who are going to work at the bottom and work their way up. Well, you there's know, nothing wrong with bringing in, in these guys like Albert Einstein. Engineers. You know, fine. And why, he, why did he come to America? He was freeing. Uh, he was fleeing from oppression in Germany. And he was one of the lucky. He was one of the lucky Jews yeah. that was able to get in this country because we were turning away Jews, and probably rightfully so. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Right. Damn man, you hate your own. <laughs> nah, I'm only. I'm only. No, he thinks he, he thinks I'm he's only being, saying stuff. He, th- he thinks he's being funny. Listen, I want to say to everybody who's watching you, you're going to notice that there are five Skype logos up there because for yeah. some reason we lost the picture. On these people, so we know what the limits are of this fucking system. I uh, saw mine. Mine was stopped. And I just stopped my video and started again, and it came back up. It came back Jeez. up. Yeah. Uh, I tried so, that. That didn't work. Yeah. Tried, no. uh, Mike, Mike is not showing up on uh, on the uh, Skype. Uh, he's. Uh, I don't know. I don't see him on the. Uh, yeah, I see him on the NDI thing from 30 seconds ago, but I've got a uh, MK on my Skype screen. You, uh, yeah. you guys have me by any chance? No, or? we don't yeah, see I got you. you. No. Oh, well, I just wanted to say... Uh, I, I don't since, see you. I don't see you. Really? Okay, well, since the end of the show, I just want to let you know I won't be able to call maybe for another week, 10 days. We're going on a trip, you oh. know, so I'll be traveling, so I don't think I'll be able to call well, in. Well, have a, have a nice trip. We'll miss yeah, you. Yeah, your so. cell phone. Yeah, we'll I might. You. Hey, oh, I hey. Might be able to, I mean, we'll, we'll be in hotels. So I might yeah. be able to. You I, never know. I, I got it. Where, where, you, where are you going? Uh, we're going out west, like Mount Rushmore, Montana, Yellowstone, that kind of stuff. Very nice. Uh, Okay, well, there's the theme. Hey, everybody, there's the theme. Uh, There are so many of you. Uh, This is what a kind of what a uh, a jackpot Jackpot. looks like. Uh, But uh, I have to thank everybody for being here. I'm not going to say all of you because I'm running late now. But everybody, uh, thank you so much for. And let's not do this again. Okay. <laughs> Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, would you, who's there, who they can see, and the rest of you, uh, we're waving goodbye at you. Anyway, that's our citizens panel for tonight. Boy, I, we've never done that many people at one time, okay? And so uh, it was 
a uh, uh, as we call in this business, it's a, it's it's a, actually it's a technical term. It's called a cluster fuck. Anyway, that's it for tonight. I'm Alex Bennett. Uh, up next is the uh, intersection with Jack Bishop. We'll be back here right after Damien Chaplin does the exchange on Tuesday. Same time, same station in life. And as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Have a nice weekend.